Hey guys, this is me, Nightmare3464. I'm sorry I haven't been updating or uploading any new videos lately. I have been too busy with the contest and dealing with a lot of drama with my friends and everything. So anyway, let's continue reading Smile Dog Means Love, Chapter 6. Yuki's point of view. The next day, Ryan wanted to walk me home again, and Smile walked with us. I was wondering why he's being so nice to me. He never talks to me before, and he has a girlfriend on the, on the way. I, dare to, I decided to ask him. Hey, Ryan. Yeah? Why are you being so nice to me? I don't have a reason to be nice to you, do I? I mean... Is that... Why are you being nice now? You never talked to me before. Um... You seem so lonely, so I thought it would be... That you need someone to talk to. Why do I have the feeling he's not telling me something? I guess I should let it go. Okay, so how's your girlfriend? Um, Scarlett, she's fine. His tone of his voice said that he was kind of scared. Me, otherwise, I was thinking of something. What's wrong? Well, things are not well between us. She's getting too controlling. She calls me every five minutes asking where I am, who I'm with, what I'm doing. It's getting too much. I have to turn off my cell phone just because of it. I think I'm going to break up with her. To be honest, I don't, I don't feel the same way for her anymore. But if she's controlling, that she's not going to let you walk away that easy. Yeah, I know. We stopped in front of my house and said goodbye. Thanks for walking me home, me and Smile home again. No problem, we turned around and left. I turned to walk to the door. Hey, Yuki, he called out. I turned to face him. Yeah, are you going to do anything this Friday? No, why? Well, I was wondering if maybe if we could go to the park or something, you could bring Smile. I could bring my dog. But almost at the moment, it seems before he gave me an answer. Sure, really? Yeah, after school, I'll meet you at four. Sounds great. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Bye. I waved goodbye and went inside the house. I left my backpack ball on the floor and sat down on the couch and looked over at Smile, who turned into his human form quickly. He leaned against the wall, giving me are you this are you serious face. What? I asked. You know what? No, I don't. You really don't. What? Come on, Yuki. Even a deaf person could tell you that what he's thinking. All right, fine. What is he thinking? Well, he's planning, planning really meant a date. I blushed a little. Are you crazy? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. I heard him. Certain out there, he wants to go on a date with you. If it's a date, then why didn't he insist that you come up? Come. So you wouldn't think it, it's a date. And to him, I'm just a dog, not your boyfriend. But you are my boyfriend. He doesn't know that. Relax, smile. I could just explain to him that I don't feel the same way. And if he tries anything, you'll be there to stop him, okay? Okay. Time skip to Friday. Smile's point of view. I can't believe this is really happening. And I, Why am I, did I agree to hang out with someone who wants to go after my girl? Yuki sat on the park bench as I sat on the ground next to her. Soon, I started to get a familiar scent. Well, blacking out while rolling with it. Hey Yuki, I heard Ryan and his dog. And this is your dog, she replied. I looked over to see Ryan's with a brown pit bull. Yeah, this is like, he's two years old. We started walking and he's a big one, I know. When we got him, he was no bigger than my heel once. He grew, a lot of my neighbors got scared of him because he, he's a pit. Man, I hate that. I hate what? In fact, that people think pit bulls are born killers. And they're not. They're the sweetest dog in the world. My cousin has one and she uses him to watch over her two-year-old daughter. 
when she couldn't she couldn't be in the same room. The dog wouldn't bite her. No, my cousin trained him to be a, to be a nanny dog. If you train a pit bull to be courteous, they become the greatest family dog you can find. But no, people want to believe that they're stereotyped about pit bulls, saying that they're all killers, kill, 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 and that just sucks. Well, the conversation between Smile and Spike. Hey, huh? I'm Spike. I'm Smile. Are you the one who killed people in my block? Most likely. Why? I can smell blood on you. Why are they calling you Smile Dog? See? What, like being a demon dog? It's fun? You could turn into a human? Yeah. Whoa, I wish I could turn into a human. I would finally have thumbs to, that I wouldn't have to urge to scratch, chase a cat or car, drink out of the toilet, or chew things I'm not supposed to. For all humans are still, for the humans is baby talk. So it's like being a pit bull. It's pretty cool because I look mean, people don't bother me or my owner, but it hurts when people think that you're a born monster, especially other dogs. I wouldn't know that feeling since I'm a monster. How many people have you killed? I don't know. I don't keep track of my that stuff. Alright. About Ryan, why is he being so nice to Yuki all of a sudden? Oh, he uh, has this big, no, huge crush, crush on her ever since. Him and his girlfriend started going bad. Yuki is all he thinks about now. I knew it. You know what? Eh. You don't know the half of it. He's always telling me how gorgeous she is, about how she's everything Scarlet could never be. That she's everything he ever wants in a girl. Yada yada yada. What do you mean he's in love with her? I'd be surprised if he wasn't, dude. Time skips back to the house. I had fun, Yuki. Me too, Ryan. I said most likely. I'm guessing I'll see you on Monday. Yeah, maybe. Could we have lunch together? Well, goodbye, goodbye, Ryan. Good night, Spike. Goodbye, Yuki. Bye, Smile. We went inside. Yuki has changed into her pajamas while I changed into my human form. You didn't tell him how you felt the same way. I said as she giggled and kissed my cheek. Let's lay in bed. We did as she laid her head on my chest while we were watching scary movies on TV. Smile? Yeah. We both sat up and looked at each other. I suddenly felt her lip prints against mine. I was surprised at first, but I kissed back. After a few minutes, we pulled away. I love you, she said. At the moment, the warm feeling just took over me. I love you, too.